short today, we're at, um, at the Apex Hotel in uh, Dundee, city centre, and I'm uh, doing a bit of writing on my uh, blog. I started writing um, probably a bit more seriously about maybe a year ago, and uh, it's just something I do in my spare time. Um, you know, it's something I've got a passion for, and um, I usually just write about things I'm interested in, mainly sport, um, travel, um, history. They're probably the three main main topics. I started writing, obviously, probably like most people when I were um, when I were in school, um, in secondary school. Uh, Realised they had a decent, you know, ability to it, a decent aptitude for it. So um, that's probably when I first realised, you know, I could could write to a decent level. And then I'd not written for maybe ten years or something like that since I left school. You leave school, you never want to do any more uh, any more. Uh, academic sort of stuff really, especially when it's at the football side of things, but probably over the last couple of years it's something I've maybe thought about a bit more and um, something I've really enjoyed. As a footballer you get a lot of uh, spare time and um, each football is different, you know, we've all got our own uh, passions and hobbies outside of the game. Some lads like to have a game of golf, um, you know, some lads might like to go to the gym and do, do extra work at the gym and stuff like that, um, but I think it's important that you know, you do have something outside of football because it can be quite um, quite a consuming uh, profession, really. I think these topics that I write about um, is something that are really close to my heart and something I've got real passion for. I don't think I'd like to write about anything that I weren't passionate about. Burnley's finest. What a sport this is, Grim. From a football point of view, I wrote a piece about Burnley being promoted at the end of last season. I think I went to my first Burnley game when I was two weeks old. Um, not that I can remember much of it, like, but um, yeah, it's um, football has always been a massive, massive part of my life. Um, whether it's playing or watching, I've followed, followed Burnley all over, uh, all over Britain and stuff. And um, and I just think it's football such a such a big thing for people in our country, you know, in Britain and worldwide. It's a massive release from um, you know the trials and tribulations of everyday life. I've spent the best part of probably ten years now in Scotland. First came up here when I was um, 19 at Motherwell. Um, my wife Courtney's been up here with me for you know most of that time, and uh, we've absolutely loved our time in Scotland. It's been you know it's been fantastic. People are really welcoming. Um, it's a beautiful place, Scotland. I don't think you'll uh, get many better places really. Maybe apart from weather, but I'm used to that anyway. <laughs> Being uh, from East Lancashire, so um, yeah, settled in really really well on. Um, East Coast, having spent you know the vast majority of our time up here, um, sort of Glasgow way, so um, you know everyone's been really friendly. You know that's everyone from people at the club to people in the local area, and um, yeah, it's been been really good, nice change. You know, as you get a bit older and stuff, it does become a bit easier to settle in when you move into a new club. I remember, like as a young lad, you go to places and probably are a bit nervous and stuff. Some of our lads aren't like that now, but. Um, I certainly were, but I think it's, you know, I think it's become easier all the time. And you know, knowing lads from previous clubs or having played against them and stuff, uh, just makes it a little bit easier to, uh, you know, settle in. 28 now, and I've got plenty of experience in Scottish football, really. You know, um, in both leagues in SPL, and last season I played, um, you know, with Morton in Championship, and um, I think having that experience at anything, it, it can only be a can only be a good thing, um, and it's important, I think, for you know lads like myself or uh, Ross Dockerty, Tony, uh, Deck, Alte. Like you know, we've got that experience, and it's important to pass on what we know to um, you know younger members of the team, and uh, you know allow them to uh, play in an environment where they feel comfortable and stuff, and they feel like they're supported by us. I think we've shown over the last couple of weeks that um, you know things are. Things are picking up, and um, I think if we, I think if we continue to improve week on week, that's all you can ask for. And you know, wherever we are at the end of the season, that'll, um, you know, that'll be dictated to by how much we improve and um, how hard we work. I think, yeah.